right. Thank you, Lito. Good to see you. Let me know how the audio is as well. Whoa. The peyote's kicking in. Ralder, I don't think lasers are in the game. We get a chef kiss on the audio levels. Yeah, lethal because watching his videos is bad for your health. <laughs> Yikes, rude. Um, let's let's um, uh, let's get into this. Uh, I have played Uncharted Waters New Horizons before on the channel, but that was some years ago. I think it was about six years ago or something like that. And uh, I played as Ernst. We we're going to be playing today as Catalina, who is the, the the lovely young lady before us who just killed a man. But don't worry about it. This red-haired pirate hails from Spain. She seeks revenge on Portugal for the mysterious loss of... God damn it. Should have started reading that sooner, but... Uh, we'll get more into her story here in a little bit. Let's uh, just move on with our lives. New game. And uh, as you might recall, stand by a second here, just making sure I've got everything lined up. And there we go. Um, as you might recall, there are six different characters, or you can just look at the screen now. We've played as Ernst, who's this silver-haired fox. And then uh, we have Catalina here. Let's read a little bit about Catalina. She's guided by her beliefs. Well, that's sure a statement. Um, Catalina Aranzo, named after one of my least favorite planes and one of my least favorite salad dressings. If we wanted to change her name, we could change her name to my favorite salad dressing, which is Ranch. So Rancho Aranzo. I wonder if Aranzo is like Spanish for well, Rancho would be Spanish for Rancho, wouldn't it? Oh boy, we're off to a good start. Let's read. Spanish naval officer. She leaves the Navy for a life of piracy to avenge the mysterious loss of her brother and fiancé. She's guided by her beliefs, too, by the way. Uh, we're not going to change her name. We're just going to get right into it. I'm ready to start the game right now. Let's get into the fucking game! Let's record something! Let's stream together! I'm drinking coffee right now, I'm sorry. Oh, hello. Uh, goodbye! <laughs> okay. Guys out here having a normal one. I wonder what's the matter with Emilio. Lieutenant Lorenzo, have you heard any news about your missing brother? Don't worry. I'm sure a strong mate like Michael is doing just fine. Emilio is here looking for you. He wants you to go to headquarters. He could have told me that as he, like, ghosted me. The fleet has just returned from the New World, so maybe he wanted to talk to you about that. He looked pretty serious. Something important must have happened. Thanks for the information. I'll get right over to headquarters. Well, this is headquarters over here, so we're gonna hop on in. And now he has the nerve to talk to us. Catalina, I was looking for you, and <laughs> I found you, and then immediately ran away. <laughs> Commander Ezekiel <laughs> needs to talk to you. What? You don't make sense. You see me, and then you tell me something that somebody else told me, and now that I'm here to do the thing that you want me to do, you're telling me to do the thing I need to do. Emilio, what are we gonna do with you? The commander, is it about my missing brother? Well, I think you should hear it from the commander. He's a werewolf! The 
Lieutenant Catalina Lorenzo reporting for duty, sir. Thank you for coming. At ease. Okay. I'm sitting, so... Well, I have some news about your brother, Michael. We lost contact with his fleet on April 10th, 1522. Seems unnecessary to cite the year, but whatever. Off the coast of Santo Domingo. My brother, I just can't believe it. He's one of the best sailors in the Navy. Besides, he has Hernan in his fleet. Yes, Michael was a capable man. His first mate, your fiancé, Hernan. Is it Hernan? Is that how you would say it in Spanish? Was also a brave man. But we got a report this morning from a fleet we sent to investigate the matter. All they found were the remains of a shipwreck. The entire fleet was terribly damaged, and no, then there was no one on board. The cause of the destruction is unknown. It could have been a storm, or perhaps someone attacked them. But this flag was found on the wreck. It's Michael's. Lieutenant? Yeah. I think we're gonna go with the lieutenant. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm afraid he didn't make it. I... he didn't... but... Stop blathering and get out of my office. <laughs> no, I understand your grief, but I'm sure he would want you to be brave at a time like this. Heavy duty. Lieutenant Sanud. Sand nudes. Sand nudes? Sand nudes? Hmm. Lieutenants. Did anybody speak Spanish, by the way? Because I, I know that some of these names are downright silly. But, uh. Lieutenant Sand nudes. Please escort Lieutenant Rancho safely to her quarters. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Catalina. It's all so sudden. Who's my commanding officer as well, as well as my best friend. I vow to find out what happened. Let's go to the cafe. I'll buy you a cup of tea. A nice piping hot cup of tea. Lovely. Um, so we're gonna... There's a little secret here. By the way, um, Zerfall is in the chat. Zerfall has played through this game, and it's uh, been one of the... I actually started watching it uh, just a few days ago, and it kind of inspired me to get back into um, Let's Play. So, you know... Doff your cap to him. Do whatever you, you want to do to to pay respects. Press F. F in the chat for Zerf. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, I appreciate um, Zerfall for all that he's done for the craft of Let's Playing, but also for inspiring me to get back into this this ridiculous, terrible hobby. Um, little secret here, though. If you go back into the headquarters. Wink. You can talk to the commander, and he he'll say, "Hey, Catalina, don't be so down. Turn that frown upside down. Buck up." Here, this is Commodore Michael's saber. Take this with you. Saber. It began with the bloody S. This is the big love fest in the chat right now. So we just got a saber, um, which that, that, that'll be uh, important for combat later. And it's actually really necessary for the way that I intend to set out on this uh, quest. Catalina's is probably my least favorite of the scenarios, to be totally frank with you. <laughs> and um, I think part of it is just how the game kind of, the, the plot of it is not my favorite. And I don't like, well, we'll get, we'll get to that. Maybe we'll kind of explain it as we go. But it's... Uh, as far as the saber, it's very nice to have. But if, I mean, you know, we, we got a kind of an idea. We, we. <laughs> we got an idea for what uh, her her scenario is going to entail. And obviously a saber seems like it would be helpful for that. Anyways, let's go into the cafe. Hey there, friend. Business is good as usual, eh? Why hello, Emilio. Yeah, why hello, Emilio. It's been a long time since I last saw you. Two cups of tea, please. <laughs> Emilio, it just doesn't make sense. I can't. I just can't believe my brother would be lost in a storm. I agree. And I can't believe that a Spanish fleet would be attacked. Well, that's not so much of a stretch. But it could be Caribbean pirates that attack the fleet. They'll regret it. As long as I'm in the Navy, they'll never rest. What are you going to do now? 
I'm a Navy officer, Catalina. I'll do some investigating whenever I stop at a port, and eventually I'll find out what happened to them. Seems like kind of a lame plan, but whatever. Um, actually, those men are talking about that very thing right now. Hey, Giovanni. Have you heard... Oh, it's a pirate guy. We gotta do the pirate voice. Have you heard the latest gossip? I, a Royal Navy fleet, disappeared in the Caribbean Sea. There's whispers that Blackbeard did it. He traveled through time. 200 and some years to do this heinous crime. Time crook Blackbeard. Aye, but tis only a yarn. One of me mates says some Portuguese salts are involved. I thought when I played this game as a kid that they like literally found like barrels of Portuguese salt <laughs> in amongst the wreck. Did not know that salt was a uh, uh, slang term for a sailor. A salt or a salty tar, if you will. He says that they set fire to the fleet when it was resupplying in Santo Domingo. Rumor has it that the attacking ship was flying a flag with the Red Cross of the Malta Knights. How does this guy's it's the a fountain of information? What? Oh, what? <laughs> That's the flag of Duke Franco's private battle fleet. Ah, ye can never trust those Portuguese. Yar. Assault and battery. Uh, excuse me, but could you repeat that? Your pirate accent is just ridiculous. Who in the blazes are ye? I'm a lieutenant in the Royal Navy. Are you sure that what you just said is true? Well, I don't know for certain, but the rumor is spreading like wildfire among me men. They don't have anything better to talk about. We're the most boring pirates on the seven seas. Gyar. How about that weather today? Hear about that local sports team? Gyar. Come on, Emilio. I want to tell Commander Ezekiel about this. And? And I will request permission to seek out and destroy the Francos. Whoa. Based on rumor and innuendo? Alright. Sounds like a plan. Oh, lethal! Wow. I'm glad that uh, I could uh, help you through your uh, your tooth issues, and ain't that the tooth? That's, I can't. It's terrible. I'm out of floss for words. Commander, I have a request. What is it, Lieutenant? I know who's responsible for the attack on my brother's fleet. Oh, really? Yeah, really. It's Duke Franco of Portugal. Please give me a battleship and soldiers to avenge Michael and Hernan. Please, Commander, I'm begging you. I must have my revenge. Lieutenant Aranzo, do you have any idea what you're saying? Have you taken leave of your senses, Lieutenant? Oh, leave. Excellent. Well, I don't know where you heard that rumor, but one thing is clear. Attacking the Francos will cause a full-fledged war between Spain and Portugal. Get your absurd ideas of revenge. Return to your duties at once. Portugal! Okay, so, uh... Now we have to go back to the cafe, even though the game doesn't really... specifically tell you that. So, Catalina, what are you going to do now? Going to quit the Navy. What? As long as I'm in the Navy, I can't avenge the loss of my brother or my fiancé. But the Francos are powerful. It's impossible for a mere civilian to defeat the Duke of Portugal. It's so easy to give up now, isn't it? Uh, excuse me? A sphincter says what? Who are you? Nobody important, but I don't like your attitude. Give up without trying? Run away because you can't win? Is that how honorable Spanish naval officers behave? Who is this guy? Catalina, let's just get out of here. He's just another crazy philosopher. I love how... Oh. Wait, Emilio. I've finally made up my mind. What? What did you decide? Emilio, 
I need your help. I'll do whatever I can. Then come with me to the harbor. And we go to the harbor. What are you planning on doing? I'm going to take a ship from the Spanish Navy. Are you crazy? No, not at all. I just remembered you have command of a ship. A ship carrying gold from the New World. But that's treason. Commander Ezekiel will wring my neck, have me fired. Afraid of a little danger, Lieutenant? It's uh, a cape. Yeah, it's uh, a little confusing. You can see, though, that... There's a little, I don't know if you can see my mouse. Yeah, there it is. There's a little little collar or something. Or uh, maybe the, I don't know. But this is a cape. Catalina, what are you doing? Don't move or I'll shoot. It's a rubber band. My God, they hurt so much. I don't want to hurt you. I just need a hostage right now. Or I just need a hostage right now. <laughs> I'll drop you off at a neutral port. Until then, please cooperate with me, Emilio. I'm really sorry to get you involved, but I have no other choice. I didn't have a choice! All right, Catalina. What? I'll join your mission, but you'll have to command the ship. The ringleader of a treacherous act has no hope if he or she gets caught, but an accomplice might be able to get away with just a simple prison sentence. <laughs> Emilio is a coward, and I love him. That's more like it. <laughs> now let's talk strategy. Well, you're the Commodore. Name your flagship. Hmm, what do you think of Rebellion? Rebellion, huh? Well, I can't think of a more suitable name for the flagship of a lady pirate. Then let's get our Rebellion started. Wait a minute, there must be some gold bars left on this ship. We should sell the gold bars and get some spending money first. That's a good plan. I'll have to remember to sell them when we get a chance. Okay, so... Um, let me actually think about this for a second. I don't think it matters that much, but... Yeah, we could actually sail now. Because um, I don't think we have any gold, right? Correct. So, um... I think I'll just go ahead and sail. Maybe. I'm just trying to think about whether I should sell the gold here or sell it elsewhere. Because I do intend on going elsewhere. I mean, it is a game where you sail around to do other things and places and, you know, you don't just stay in Seville the whole freaking game. Um, for what I have in mind, it doesn't actually matter that much. Let's just go ahead and sell it and then uh, supply up, and then, and then, we'll take care of things elsewhere. Actually, no, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Sorry guys, I had to deliberate on that. I had given it some thought before I started, and then I forgot, and then, yeah. They won't notice we stole the ship if we never leave. <laughs> oh man. Some big brain stuff happening in chat. Um, good thinking, Zerf. Uh, what am I doing? I think I have 120 men on my galleon. Let's take a look at that. So, we want to have more. We want to have 180. Let's go ahead and recruit some crew here at the cafe. Four gold for a cup of tea. In this economy, you better believe it. 100 men, I only needed 60, that's okay though. Hey, Animal Hero, welcome. And I'm gonna save here in Seville. I'm gonna avoid using save states as much as possible, even though, as Zerf mentioned, Catalina's might be... Well, there's other scenarios where you will end up wanting, perhaps, to use them, but... 
any of the combat oriented ones make it kind of tempting to use save states. Ahoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? And I will fully resupply my ship. <laughs> I don't know if this emulator has a uh, rewind button. Okay, so I can only sail for 13 days. That's because I've maxed out my um, my crew. Normally you uh, are set up with being able to sail for 20, but no dice since I fully crewed my ship. But that's okay. And there's Ciuta. We're gonna go into the Mediterranean, but we're gonna have a cutscene first, apparently. Well, we've left the country. We're now officially traitors. What's your plan of action? To avenge the loss of my brother on the Francos, of course. But it's impossible for you to defeat the Francos right now. First, you must develop your battle skills. How can I do that? First, get your ship well equipped. Next, gain battle experience by attacking some merchant fleets. We can defeat merchant fleets easily since they lack both the skills and the proper equipment for battle. But even though merchant fleets don't have high battle skills, there can be many ships in a fleet. I'm afraid it won't be that easy to defeat all of them. The number of ships doesn't matter. You'll win instantly if you defeat their flagship, so the key is to concentrate your attack on the enemy's flagship. You can also win by defeating the enemy's Commodore in a duel. But with the equipment you have right now, it may not be such a good idea. We can buy equipment with the gold we take from our victims. HA! All the Portuguese ships will be mine to raid! By betraying Commodore Ezekiel, we've already become an enemy of Spain. Indiscriminate attacks on... Uh, excuse me, indiscriminate attacks will make every country our enemy. Instead, it's wise to target our attacks on the ships of just one country. Ha 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 ha! It's not really. Let's try that one more time. Ha ha ha! What's the matter? What's so funny? Well, I was just thinking maybe you were born to be a pirate. You were never this excited when you were in the Navy. What are you saying? I battled with pirates a number of times in the Navy. That's why I know how they think. That's all. I've killed so many of them, I've absorbed their knowledge. That's how that works. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's find a mer uh, merchant fleet to attack. That's kind of the gist of it, Rylder. I mean, there's no nuclear subs in this, but... So we're actually sailing east into the Mediterranean. There's a couple of reasons for this. Well, no, you eat the brains of your slain enemies. Well, that's nothing wrong with that. That's how you gain experience. <laughs> Okay, so wait, wait, wait. We could probably tangle with this guy. <laughs> Gabriel Cannoli. Uh, don't want to mess with him. He has Venetian Galleuses in his fleet, and they are, um, at this point in the game at least, the most powerful ship in the game, so we're not going to mess with him. Although his uh, flagship is not a Galleus. Uh, by the way, we had that little discussion about items. We do need to equip this saber. So we're going to put that on. Um, we do need it for the initial phases of what we want to do. I was also going to say, before we actually got sailing, the game obviously is encouraging you to go do pirate shit. <laughs> and I actually wouldn't necessarily recommend that as your first course of action. There's other ways of getting situated in the game other than you know going and killing people. That may be preferable. You may want to consider doing other things, such as trading. Trading is a perfectly viable thing to do with this galleon here. Uh, we have Tonio here with his Flemish galleons. He's a tempting target, actually. Um, so we might attack him. He looks like we just startled him while he was on the toilet. We might do exactly that. Actually, in a few minutes here. But what I was saying is that um, you may want to consider trading or adventuring just to get some money to start the game. Just because piracy um, is a little bit tricky. And moreover, the game is going to ramp up very, very quickly in this scenario. So um, it's worth considering uh, other, other means of uh, making money. That's not the button I wanted. 